My dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle. Her unsanctioned experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? <laughs> Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop, my dream. Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Deeply departed, Oswald. Sylvia. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Okay, this place is not all I hoped for. But this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Forgive me for the intrusion. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helena, and you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I didn't really know him that well. All the same, it's a pity particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. What? Really? I didn't know that's how it worked. But I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? What? I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. But that's so much gold! You could build five shops with that much gold! What in the world did Oswald do with all of it? Mismanaged it, to judge by appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is... very fine. 
What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time and this shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property, and will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. That sounds... bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron. Too stressed to function. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full ten days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course this would happen.
I never should have come here. What am I going to do? No. Huh? I mean, hoot hoot. I heard that. You, you can talk. Well, if, well, of course I can talk. You, you, you must be new here. This is Rafter. We're the strangest commonplace, and then the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually. If you could call it living. Eating scraps. Hiding the shadows. You live here? In the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh, did, did he never mention me? Oh, oh, uh, how strange. Perhaps he was just so embarrassed to admit how <clears throat> integral I was to his shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Uh, Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl, it was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 you don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment, and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. There's no way I can make enough by selling potions! Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. You simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition, and you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions, and you'll have the money you need to get that debt collector off your back for good. You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Owl. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potionomics. Oh, boy.
Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around a cauldron? You went to school for this, after all. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced potions. See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. Starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew. I'd better go over my notes from college, just to be safe. Pushing crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimens. Ah, yes! The mighty magimen! Where would we be without it? Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find magimens. Magical creatures, mystical plants, even the rocks of this supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. Heating an ingredient releases the magimens contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion's specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magimens. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimens they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important, too. If your balance of magimens is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. It sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, one step at a time. Gotta put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with health potions. And I have that recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimens. Some fey berries and mandrake root should do the trick. That's everything we need. Let's get the lid on and set it to brew. All right, nothing left here to do but let it cook.
Okay, hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will. It has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling! The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Here comes one now! You've got this!
That's all of them, for now. That didn't go so badly. Yes, it's clear your haggling skills are already improving. But if I could offer a small suggestion. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move to make is the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. I can be a little diabolical when I have to be. I'll look forward to seeing it in action. But that's enough of a break for now. That was a break? Come on now, back to work. The health potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what'll be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magimens. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Perfect! Let's make those mana potions. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the process. Fuel! When added to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. Be on the lookout for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. And I think there's a little bit of hay left. Go ahead and feed it to the fire. Great! Now we can open the shop for the afternoon to sell the health potions you brewed this morning.
That's all of them, for now. Great! We could sell these for the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time, we'll kick it up a notch. Now I've got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that will push our potion to the next tier. Let's drop these in and make some real potions. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit in one last haggling session.
That's all of them, for now. I think I could get the hang of all this. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatters' rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird-looking mildew in the corner, did ya? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I've just inherited this place. Huh. Just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should kick some business my way. Sure thing. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now, when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. I look forward to doing business. Once I'm up and running, I'll need ingredients pretty regularly. I guess I'll see you around then. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. Just gotta take this one day at a time. Oh wow, is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day. And now, potions! Yeah, part in the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running again. 
Hmm. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's really very kind of you. The truth is, I'm new to town and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm new here too! Um, my name's Mint, and I just got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potion switch. And by resident, I mean I literally live here. It's seriously so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now, I have to ask, does Foster the Formidable ever shop here, or Docs the Defenestrator? That would be a huge honor, but I'm not sure I'd recognize them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? Uh, I guess that was just me. I might be a bit of a fangirl. To be honest, I've been geeking out pretty much nonstop since I got here. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance for the Heroes Guild. This is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Of course the fallout from that battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now, and that includes the local chapter of the guild. They've put out a call for new recruits! You've got the muscles to be a hero. Ever thought about joining? Aw, uh, thanks. I do work out. And as a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafta. I answered the call! Hey, that's great! Congrats on the new gig! Thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. They've got me running odd jobs for the XP. Oh, that's slang for experience! Any day now, I'll be ready for proper adventures outside of town! After all, there's a whole island out there, teeming with mystery and danger! And potion ingredients, of course! Swing by the guild hall if you're ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers, and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Then I have a feeling you're gonna do great! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how often people in this town misplace family heirlooms. As you decide what potions you're going to make, reference your recipe book. Throwing things into a cauldron and seeing what comes out is all well and good, but planning things out can give you an edge when reacting to the market.
Sylvia, I'm so glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Isn't it amazing? There's a lot more taxidermy than I expected. Yeah, heroes love their trophies. Maybe I'll be contributing one soon. Because, get this, I've been approved to go adventuring! The training wheels are coming off! You should send me out sometime. I promise I'd bring back some great loot for you. How does that work, exactly? Oh, I can tell you all about it. I just had my orientation, and I took detailed notes in my dedicated, color-coded adventuring binder. Sounds complicated. Nah, I'm just a nerd for this stuff. It's actually a pretty simple system. Start by choosing which area you want me to explore. The farther I get into that area, the more loot I'll bring back. Providing me with potions is totally optional, but the right potion could help me get farther, or might help me find better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mana potions are by far the most important. Health potions help me withstand damage, and mana potions power my attacks, allowing me to fight my way past monsters! However, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time. All that magic can really mess with a person's stomach. Oh, uh, don't forget there's a fee every time you send me out. Those are set by the guild. That's about it. Consider me on call. Honestly, I can't get out there soon enough. I know you'll do amazing. I hope so. This is what I've been training for, after all. Oh, uh, they also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for new recruits. Uh, let's use them on my first adventure. Health potions to patch me up and mana potions to get me to the finish line. Let's use them both! And, hey... Thanks for the support, Sylvia. It means a lot.
That's all of them, for now.
That's all of them, for now. Thank 
I wonder what today has in store for me. Greetings, Tuskless One! I have for you a question of dire importance! The potions that you sell, do you make them yourself? I sure do! Every potion you see is handcrafted on site by me, Sylvia. It gladdens me to hear it! For potion crafting is a noble profession. A noble profession, indeed. I am pleased to meet you, Sylvia. You may call me Mokhtok, for that is my name. I wonder if I might be of service to you in your endeavors. Oh, we're not really hiring right now. Oh, you misunderstand. I do not seek employment, for I have already found my calling. And it is a great one! Like you, I am a craftsperson. My media are metal and all the minerals of the earth. My skill is unmatched! But key to any artisan's success is access to the right tools. And I cannot help but notice... You appear to be brewing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Tell me, do you not thrive on innovation? Do you not wish to dance upon the razor edge of progress? I like being on the cutting edge. Innovation is as necessary as food and breathable air. It also tends to be expensive. Then you must allow me to be of service. Oh, please, accept this cauldron as a token of my respect, and as a sample of all I have to offer. Wow, thanks! That's so generous of you. But are you sure? Where I come from, cauldrons are pretty expensive. Oh, I only regret that I cannot offer all my many goods and services free of charge. Ah, truly, it is a most impossible dilemma. I view each cauldron as a work of art, and art is meant to be freely accessible to all. And yet, I find I must cover the costs of production at the very least. Otherwise, I shall have no materials with which to make these artworks. And to leave these righteous flippers bereft of material and idle of purpose would be unthinkable! In the end, to put a price tag upon my cauldrons, this feels like the lesser sin. Speaking of art, nice tattoos. They really suit you. Of all life's canvases, none is more exquisite than the body. Especially a body that is rippling with muscle! <laughs> but I hope you do not find my confidence off-putting. Such conviction is not so common here as it is in my homeland. I find it necessary, however, to hold myself in high regard. Those of us who put our creations on display, who are judged so openly and so often, should be the first to see and celebrate our own strengths. We must be kind to ourselves. We must pump ourselves up! 
for it is only by fanning the spark of pride within us that we can hope to ignite the flames of interest in another. Solid advice. Solid as an anvil. I am glad to know you, Sylvia, and I hope that I shall see you again. Please visit my market stall. See all that I have to offer. For the world can be a cold place, and those of us who toil to bring light and beauty into being, we must stand together! Thank <laughs> you. 